Hey guys, how are we doing? We are back again playing some more Winter Survival. How are we doing guys? I hope you guys are well. Welcome to the new Christmas update that we finally got in uh, for Winter Survival. So what we're going to do today, if you guys haven't actually um, been involved in any one of my videos before that um, have recently got an update, basically what I'd like to do is go through the update patch notes that I have here in front of me and also talk to you about some of the newer features that have been added to the game so before we get started just be sure to hit the like button share the video um, two best possible ways to get um, traction on the video and of course the channel but also consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell comment down below guys let me know how you guys are enjoying the update and also the game in general all right with that out of the way let's get to it so we've got some interesting patch notes here um, so I'm going to go ahead and read these out. So how are you doing survivors? In our real world, it's full of atmosphere of Christmas and New Year. Today, let's take a look what changes uh, we, uh, can we find in Winter Survival's first Christmas activity. Now, uh, we did say that the uh, update and following contents will begin on the 16th of December, and this would be um, possibly in the morning. So I believe this has already actually happened as well. So I just want to sort of try to make um, sure that I've got the right information in front of me. The reason for that is because I'm a sort of um, pretty much a day ahead of um, pretty much everyone else. So I just thought I'd put it out there. Now the first part of the patch notes is the festival equipment and decorations and exclusive maps. New map, Christmas Carnival, refreshes every 24 hours. New Christmas decorations, Christmas tree and Christmas snowman. New Christmas armor, Christmas hat, top, gloves, pants, boots. New Christmas weapon, Christmas spear, short, uh, it's a short, long cane and hammer. New Christmas props, Christmas bell, ribbon, gift box. New Christmas monsters, Christmas thief, little and big size. In addition, we have fixed and adjusted some known issues. Fix the bug of the storage stone and fire dragon egg. Don't drop when getting killed. New mechanism for return of building materials for the demolition of camp buildings. Okay. New... Uh, sorry, adjust the blueprint opening level. Attentions, all of your blueprint points will be reset freely of after the update. So I think we're going to have to go back in and uh, redo all of our, yep, uh, all of our points by the looks of things. So we have to relearn some of these things, So which is fine. It is what it is. So I'm going to sort of make a point and just do a couple of the... Um, a uh, couple of the redo of my point system. So some things I probably won't ever need to use again, so I probably won't invest in it. So I can always put that in other attributes. Um, what have I got over here? This is something interesting. This actually hasn't been um, in the game before, so this is a new thing. So this is a magic appraiser. Not too sure exactly what this does. So users uh, to identify the magic of attributes of items can only be stored in the backpack, need to be built on open space max level two uh, new item core components uh, according to the drawing plus the core component a drawing appraiser can also be made in simple condition and then i think you've got the mithril there yep and then you've got stone blocks let's see if there's anything else that's been added here which is a little bit different uh, fire dragon incubator which is still locked out of the game so i can't use that just yet um, and then I've got a few things down here which haven't been, or which I haven't actually updated to, so I need level 15 for the leather backpack. Um, and then there's just a few other bits and pieces here, which I don't think has actually changed by the looks of things. But what I will notice is some of the textures in the game have actually been changed. Um, from what I can see, it looks a little bit better. You can see on the minimap on the top right hand corner that some of the textures have been updated and changed just to sort of give you guys a bit of an indication. I'm just going to quickly just eat up all this just to get some hunger back into my player here. I'm just going to keep going. Uh, modify the building temperature dropping value, um, the snowball. Uh, events occur more frequently after today's update, so that's a big plus. So basically they're the um, time sensitive uh, zones that do pop up on the map there when you do jump into the overmap, which we're going to check out in a moment. 
And what have we got here? Uh, reduce the image size and strength of some monsters. Fix the problem that the survival manual does not recognize the monster of the same slash similar, similar name, such as Executioner and Brute Troll Executioner. Fix the bug that when you remove the backpack, you're going to lose the backpack uh, when the backpack is full. In the backpack interface, players can now see how much energy you have left. That's how we're going to celebrate our first uh, Christmas. Should you have any better suggestions, please let us know by leaving messages. Wishing you a Merry Christmas in advance. So that is the patch notes that we have. So I hope you guys enjoyed that one there. Um, just to sort of give you guys a bit of an indication of what um, is available now in the um, game. So not just a Christmas update, but also um, a game improvement update as well overall. So it actually seems a little bit smoother. I don't know if that's just me, but I just thought I'd just point that out. And as I said, you can see that there's some textures and redesigns in the minimap there that appear to be a little bit different. So that looks pretty cool. Okay, so with all that out of the way, um, basically right now I'm at level 14. Um, I've got a little bit more of a storage facilitation set up. thought I'd just quickly show you that I've done some reorganization uh, real quickly. So I've done that in between videos. I was actually supposed to put out another video um, in today's place, but since the updates dropped, I figured that this is going to come first and I'm sure you guys want to check out the updates. But I will put a few other things, um, other videos I should say, throughout the week. Um, and so you guys will be able to enjoy that as well. But the Christmas update first. There we go. So the blizzard has destroyed uh, that forest. I should be able to find some resources. And that is the blizzard transit. I'll probably go check that out um, a little bit later. I'm sure you guys want to check out the new Christmas carnival first. So let's go ahead and suss that one out. And a couple of other things I just sort of wanted to quickly touch on. There's a new little rating system here. So if you click the raven with the one, two, and three, <laughs> you can actually see your rank. And I think you might be able to visit these people. So I don't know if we can try that now. Be safe with another camp. Oh, hang on. Uh, raven viewing only allowed in the camp. Okay. Ooh, what do we got here? So we've got these little Christmas... Um little bits and pieces here so we may as well just start picking some of these up these little stars that you can see here and here is the Christmas themed uh, zombie as you can see him so it looks pretty cool he's got this little Christmas hat happening here at the moment so if he drops anything any differently doesn't appear that way but let's continue on and grab more of these little Christmas presents this looks like the main part of everything here, so I'm just going to sort of pick up everything. Now, I'm not too sure if we can display them in our home base, so I'm guessing that's what we're going to be able to do. Oh, okay. I'm going to need to... I don't know why I need to use a, um, a shovel to open up. Oh, hey. Look at this little guy. This little Christmas thief here. Can I... I'm guessing if you keep hitting him, you... um. You might drop some loot, I'm not too sure, but let's go and check this out. Here we go. Okay, so he's dropped some gloves and stuff like that. So, unfortunately, we've got the unwanted attention of some enemies, so we're going to have to sort of take these guys out, which isn't too bad. I needed some rope, actually, so I'm happy that they're dropping rope. Uh, but let's continue, and let's grab what we can over here. I really want to grab this, but what do I need? I need some rope. And I've got the rope, so I'll just need some logs, which I should be able to get without a problem. And as you can hear, you can actually hear the little um, twinkles of uh, Christmas, I guess, carols or themes, which is kind of neat. Um, just want to grab this over here. And I should be able to grab some wood here, and I'll be able to craft the... Uh, uh, the shovel and we'll go ahead and pick that Christmas tree out because why not? Oh, hey, is a bigger fella. Let's just um, try and take this fella out. 
drop any more rope for me? Yes, you did. So I'll take all of that. But I'll, I really want to um take this guy out. Okay. If I can sort of catch him. So here's the thing. So you're gonna have to sort of um sort of make your way and just sort of start hitting him from as much as you can but the problem is that he's just going to keep running away and when he stops you're about to get one hit off on him and you just have to keep doing this so it sort of takes a little bit for you to actually hit the um this little christmas uh thief so as much i think if you box him in a corner here you should be able to um sort of get to him quite easily and let's just take that. What do you have here? Okay, so you got some coinage for me. Let's just take all for now. And what I should have is enough to... Actually, I don't have enough yet. So let's just chop this down. And I'm going to have to learn the shovel, unfortunately, which is something that I didn't really particularly want to do, but um, we're going to have to. And I need... Have I just run out of durability on that? Well, that wasn't what I really wanted to do, but I'm going to have to come back here and, um, of course, grab, I think I've got a shovel actually back at home, so you know what, I'm going to actually go ahead and do that, so let's quickly duck out, because um, there shouldn't be a countdown timer, or well, there might be as soon as I run out, uh, okay, so there is, which is cool, so let's run over, <coughs> and let's grab us a shovel because I should have a shovel and we'll be able to dig out that Christmas tree. I don't know why we need the shovel though. It shouldn't be it should be just chopping down the um the tree with an axe but having said that my axe sort of broke so um for now let's just drop some of these over here. Um I'm gonna eat that and I should have my weapons over here. I do not have the shovel. Where's the shovel? Hmm. I could have sworn I had a shovel. But that is quite alright. Because I'll be able to craft one here without a problem. Just double checking. Okay. So let's just grab some wood. I'm going to drop this over here. I'll keep all this together for now. And let's go ahead and learn this real quick. Craft this. Cool. So I've got that. Perfect. Drop the wood back here. And I should have that over there, which is good. Alright. So let's head back over. Actually, maybe not, because I know I'm going to need some food and water. Um, actually, what I might do is I'll grab some of that and that. And I'm just going to drop fuel there, food there. And hopefully my burn time will be a lot better than what, um, what it is at the moment. So, water I need. That should be fine. And I'll just punch on a bunch of that. It is making me cold, so quickly just head over to this and let my character warm up by a little bit. And we should be able to continue on from there. So let's just drop that there. And we'll head back over. Let's have a look this time around. I think we should be able to harvest this down and then decorate it ourselves. I think that might be the go here. So, I'm guessing that is because there's been no sort of indication about on the notes that you can actually do that, but I think we're going to have to work it out for ourselves here today. Okay, so he's doing his thing. Christmas tree to be decorated. Oh, okay. So that's in my inventory now. It is? Okay. So that means all the decorations that we've got we should be able to uh, decorate it at our home base. So we can run back. 
and we should be able to just go ahead and decorate everything here. Okay. So what I might do is I might just quickly grab all the decorations that I put away over here. Aside from the these things over here, so it should be okay. If I were to do this and furniture, there we go. So I'm gonna have to sort of position this over here somewhere. All right, so I think that's a good place for it. So let's just go ahead and do that, and let's duck out and decorate it. Oh, okay. So every 24 hours, you're gonna to have to come back and drop bits and pieces into that to fill up the quota. So I'm guessing that you'll get a hot, um, complete the Christmas tree holiday essential. And I think you might get something out of it if you possibly complete it. That's by what I think by the looks of things that might actually happen. So that's cool. So I guess we'll drop everything back into here. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So that's our little Christmas tree here. So yeah, every 24 hours, you're just gonna have to make that run back into the uh, Christmas zone and pick up a few things here and there. What I'm guessing is if we do end up running back into the Christmas carnival area, we might find that there might be a um, another Christmas thief here and there. So I'm not too sure if they pop up in any general zone. So I guess um, that might happen, but potentially it may just be for the Christmas carnival there. But if you guys want to let me know in the comment section if that's true or not, um, that'll be really appreciative. And at least this way, um, everyone else will sort of know at the same time. Um, is it just in the special zones or is it more or less anywhere you sort of go? I'm going to see if what he's wearing here. So he's also Christmas themed as well. So I don't know whether or not he will drop anything special. Who knows? But if we just sort of take him out, we'll have a bit of a look. And at least this way you guys will know as well as I will. Um, so just a standard coin and... Uh, rope that we've got there. I want to sort of come in here and quickly dig out some of these um, loot uh, that you get over here. So I thought, why not? Um, plus, they always drop coins, which is good. So I'm just sort of doing a bit of a coin stockpile, and it's sort of getting um, a little bit bigger. And plus, you get charcoal. So charcoal's uh, really hard to sort of craft as well. I sort of tried my hand at crafting them, and it is quite expensive to be honest with you so that's something that you guys have to sort of consider if you want to make a lot of charcoal or not um, just so it takes a lot longer for things to burn through and that way you can actually craft a lot more things like uh, meat and food and other bits and pieces if you want to um, I think the terminology here is bake your weapon like I've done here um, the attack strength goes up a little bit and the durability is a little bit as well so I figured I'd just sort of let you know in on that but otherwise as you can see even in the temporary zones the textures have changed with the trees so all in all it looks a little bit better um, from what it has in the previous update I think they've actually reduced the amount of drops that you can get in this particular zone as well so just bear that in mind usually there's two little loot areas that you can have a um, little caravan um, and wagons as I sort of found them up here so they've sort of changed it up a little bit what I can see. Believe you me, I've actually been doing it a lot, so I've been trying to get a lot of meat and things like that um, throughout the videos that I've been playing and some of the off time that I've been uh, mucking about and playing the game myself, so I have been actively playing it. Probably not as much as I probably should be, but I have been as well, so yeah, just figured I'd just thought I'd share that with you guys because it's a really good source of food. And that's probably the biggest thing, you know, food is a bit of a um, bit of a currency here at the moment as well as anything else. And yeah, if you're not getting enough food, obviously there's no chance to cook anything and um, yeah, starvation sort of kicks in. So I guess that's just one of those things that you guys have to sort of, you know, um, bear in mind. But otherwise, that's pretty much it. Um, you know, quick little overview of the update itself. Um, got to see the new Christmas zone, established my tree, but also um, gave you guys the um, a, a little bit of an insight of what sort of needs to be done. 
So I guess like I said, you're gonna to have to sort of maybe run into the zone on multiple occasions throughout the day, see if there's any uh, additional Christmas thieves that might pop up. And at least that way, if that does happen, you guys um, will hopefully start to get a little bit more of the decorations. And hopefully, hopefully you guys will be able to finish off, um, that was a bit of a bug and glitch. Um, hopefully you guys will be able to finish off the Christmas tree and there might be like a little reward there for you at the end of the day. So. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments what you think about this as well. Um, if you guys are enjoying the new update, if you've noticed a little bit more in terms of the, um, the game mechanics, has it changed? Is it a little bit better? Uh, really exciting to hear what you guys have to say about that. Otherwise, um, make sure that you like the video. Comment down below. Hit the subscribe button if you guys haven't done so already. And that's it. I'll see you guys in another video. Bye for now.